It was the age in which all great fanciers from East and West Flanders came to Nesselaar, Belgium, to basket their pigeons in the local long-distance club for the famous Angelim races, 650 kilometers. Nesselaar is a former municipality located in the Belgian province of East Flanders. The municipality comprises the towns of Nesselaar proper and Urs. Nesselaar is an interesting place to visit, given its unique culture, history and character. A gripping city on its own right. The partnership of De Jager and Son, Albert and Freddy, was outstanding on these races. They raced seven brothers who achieved excellent results in hard weather conditions. These pigeons descended to large extent from the Gabi Verstret strain, who was then the middle distance wonder of the world from Valgerhoek, Belgium. His race formed the basis of numerous breeding lofts of the best fanciers from Belgium. Reinforcements from several top lofts. Julian Vanadu from Wingeen, from the bloodline of the crack pigeon Rocky, which he became general champion KBDB in 2007. Silver Toy from Otgem, who performed extremely well in 2007. Frank Werniers from Nesselaar, from the bloodline of his first national winners or the golden super Ludo Duvin. Remy, Andre and Carlo Gisselbricht from Nesselaar, from the line of their laureate Barcelona, first international Barcelona in 1995, and Sampras, second national Barcelona in 1999. The common brothers from Canjam, Desmid from Knock, long distance master Emil Dennis from Tielt, Maestro Gabi van den Abel from Dentergem, Cardius from Rons, Cornelis from Lodenhall, Rick Kools from Ruisselied, and Antoine Timmerman from Nesselaar. The strain of Roger Florizon from Nieport, a friend and fellow villager of the late Carol Lemayu, has been highly important in building up an extreme long-distance strain. The direct descendants from De Witneus, Primus and Terpairs 1997, and his son De Barcelona, 1st National Barcelona 1999, and several other close relatives have played their role in this. For longer middle-distance racing and shorter long-distance racing, Freddy has successfully been appealing to pigeons of the master himself Gabby van den Abel for quite a few years now. Among these pigeons was the miracle pigeon de Tsunami, which in the meantime has become the number one stock bird of the partnership. Freddy de Jaeger knows more than anyone how to create a breed of champions. He put the bloodline of Tsunami, a daughter of Gabby van den Abel's Blixem, together with the bloodline of Andre, a daughter of Marcel Eilbrecht's back 17. The exponents of some of Belgium's best bloodlines combined are Warrior, first national ace pigeon KBDB, and Lloyd, first international Barcelona. Over the years, Freddy de Jaeger was always looking for the best pigeons he could find. He is the mastermind behind this team. He determines the breeding strategy, and he sees to it that his caretakers can work with the best bloodlines on the market. Himself a successful businessman. He knows what it takes to build a successful career in pigeon racing. To get himself started, he obtained a hunt from two iconic pigeon breeds, Tsunami BE4-3230937, a daughter of the legendary Blixem, and Anja BE3-4316098, a daughter of the just as iconic back 17 of Marcel Albrecht. This is all it took to become one of the most versatile teams over the past five years. Sometimes the good things come when you least expect them. The international first prize from Barcelona for Team Freddy de Jaeger is a textbook example. This is a crowning achievement after five years of excellent work. A well-deserved win. The 2018 Classic from Barcelona was like a race from back in the days, tough but fair. The pigeons were released with a one-day delay on Saturday morning at 9 a.m., in excellent conditions, perfect weather, pretty much a clear sky between Barcelona and home, a temperature of about 28 degrees at noon, and a slight east-northeasterly wind. It was a race for strong birds that are in peak form at exactly the right moment. The results are in, and there were no big surprises in Barcelona given the weather conditions, the race went rather smoothly. Team Freddy, De Jaeger, where Lloyd put up a great show claiming an international win against 15,707 pigeons. Lloyd was clocked on Sunday morning at 10.14 minutes 48 seconds, covering 1,087.258 kilometers with an average speed of 952.2312 meters per minute, making him the fastest overall.
it makes Lloyd not only the winner of first international Barcelona, he also wins the title of Gauden Vlugel and Euro Diamond as the team's first nominated. Team de Jaeger had two pigeons in the race. This pigeon, uh, the Lloyd, has given me one of the most beautiful days in my whole life as a, as a fancier. And uh, it's with a, a double feeling that, that, I'm gonna, uh, that I will sell him. But okay, I wish the best uh, for the pigeon and the, the guy who, is, uh, who, will buy, who will buy it. Um, but you see, he's exceptional. He's, you, can't, you can't even hold him. And that was the same thing when he arrived from Barcelona. When we, had, uh, when we want, wanted to make uh, mm -hmm. pictures and uh, film, and uh, film, and this pigeon was um, uh, nearly, you couldn't hold him in the hand. So um, he, he is exceptional as a pigeon and he has a, a, an absolute strange brain. Maybe one of, maybe one of the smartest uh, birds in, in the whole world. Lloyd is a pigeon with a special story. Freddie wanted to prove a point when he decided to put his parents together. His goal was to add some speed to his extreme long-distance pigeons. In over 90% of the cases, the youngsters of such combinations are either too slow for the long distance, or they lack the strength, or stamina, for the marathon competition. This makes perfect sense, although there have been some exceptions to this rule, including this very Lloyd. Freddie did not back down, and he paired a cock from the extreme long-distance breed of Etienne Mirlane, a grandson of seven years old Barcelona and Marseille, to an inbred daughter of his stock damned Suna Midduiven, a daughter of Blixem van den Ebel. Lloyd showed his potential in the longer distance already as a yearling, with great results in the international races from Egan and a top result from Narbonne. This is why Freddy decided to bask up the then two-year-old for the 2017 race from Barcelona, also as first nominated. It is worth noting that he won a national top result from Burgs in late May, shortly before the Barcelona Classic, both in 2017 and 2018. Lloyd is a shacquired cock, rather small in size but sharp-edged, with plenty of strength. He is a regular race winner from the sprint competition to Barcelona. He successfully completed the national races from Burgs and Valence this season prior to his international first prize from Barcelona. Feeding and Medication After the racing season, all the racing pigeons, breeding pigeons, after breeding, and youngsters are fed with a mix from Versley, consisting of 50% molting mix and 50% molting yellow. This mixture is given until molting has completely finished. Once the molting is finished there is a change made to Junior Extra. This is also used as the basis feed during the racing season of the old pigeons. During the racing season, the widowers are fed up with super widowhood from Versley for races shorter than 600 km. The pigeons are given increasing amounts for three days. For races exceeding 600 km the pigeons are given increased amounts for four or five days. Every pigeons is fed alone in his box. After the training, two times per day, weather permitting, the pigeons find a small amount of nibbling seeds and two peanuts in each box. This ensures that even the pigeons that have had extra feed always storm in after the training. They go crazy for the peanuts. Peanuts are not bought in large amounts because they cannot be kept fresh. The youngsters are given as breeding mixture up to a few weeks before being separated from their parents. After this, they are switched to 50% depurative plus 50% junior. Only pure junior is given for the last two days before a race. During breeding, the pigeons are given breeding mixture supplements. The pigeons are given a fresh mixture of grit and vitamins every day. There is also Pickstone available when they want it. During this season, they are given tea every two weeks. All of the pigeons are given the opportunity to take a bath every week. The medical guidance is completely in the hands of the veterinary. The vet visits us at home every two weeks. Medication is only given on his advice. All of the pigeons are vaccinated against paramyxo and smallpox. 